One of the biggest problems a home care agency faces is a logistical one. How to consistently get caregivers to and from their rural and remote suburban assignments. I ran an agency in Westchester, New York for four years, so I know how tough the logistics can be. One of our biggest problem areas was Pound Ridge, New York, situated between the nearest cities of White Plains and Danbury, Connecticut. Caregivers tend to live in or near city centers, and we called Pound Ridge the donut hole because of our inability to get our caregivers there. Though it was only about 35 minutes away, the mostly back roads are off the beaten path, winding, and sometimes confusing. The area in and around Pound Ridge is also densely forested, which only added to the confusion and anxiety of commuting caregivers. My partner and I considered a multitude of possible solutions, all of which seemed untenable. Shuttling our caregivers by van seemed to be the most logical choice, but that ended up being cost prohibitive because of the low density of clients and the distance between our cases. Case turnover also posed problems to the math. Keep in mind, this was back in 2004. An interesting fact is that aging populations are continuing to grow at a faster rate in rural and remote suburban areas. According to a recent Harvard report, between 2000 and 2016, the number of adults aged 65 and older grew in less densely populated areas while it declined in urban ones. The problem of access to home care services in more remote areas is only increasing, and somehow agencies need to figure out how to expand their reach. From 2000 to 2016, the number of adults 65 or older living in low density metro areas increased by more than 6 million people, totaling about 15 million. Another 8 million seniors live in non-metro areas, according to the study. Meanwhile, the percentage of aging seniors living in dense urban neighborhoods fell. Seniors' desire to age in place was the driving force for growth in rural and suburban areas, according to the report. Offering home care in low-density areas comes with a tough set of challenges. One is that caregivers often travel farther, sometimes for hours, to get to their patients. In the past, Medicare's rural add-on payments have helped home health care providers overcome the obstacles in rural areas. In 2018, rural home health agencies across the country received a 3% rural add-on payment increase. But in 2019, rural add-on payments will start to change and decrease until they go away entirely in 2022. With 10,000 baby boomers turning 65 every day, a growing number of seniors will need access to home care services. Solutions will need to come from the private, nonprofit, and government sectors. For more information on this topic, please visit jchs.harvard.edu and homehealthcarenews.com. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video.